Oh, is this thing on? There we go. Hey, you ain't subscribed yet? You ain't left a like or comment yet? Go ahead and do that before we start this vlog. Yeah, yeah. We can talk about it. Okay. Use the restroom or anything before we start. Uh, Charles, you need to go potty. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about <laughs> it right now. Whiskey though, right, Charles? Yes, sir. What do you want, the benchmark or the Jameson? Uh, the Jameson. Okay. I'm going with the Jameson. And the new UR talk with Malin. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yo, smoking on some purple and I'm wearing purple. Jungle block, you are wheel full circle. Team on my back, team on my back. And everything that I'm spitting, hashtag facts. Team on my back, team on my back. Jungle royalty, hashtag that. Team on my back, team on my back. You are talk with Neander talk. Is let them know who you hey, is. R R Unlimited man, in the business down here man. Hell yeah. Three hours of business. Nick Malon. Good talks. I said that right, didn't I? Malon, yeah. Malon. 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 Mm -hmm. I probably said multiple times Malon, but it's Malon. Yes, sir. What's up today? It's good. Um, really got into a lot of uh, yeah, stuff. A lot of uh, AI. Yeah, a lot of fashion, politics. Mm -hmm. Crazy shit. A lot tin of crazy foil, shit. Tinfoil hat topics, for sure. But, yeah, man. It's just good just to decompress. Real talk. It's good to see you out here, too, man. Because, yeah. you know, you've been... You've been hibernating. Put That's what I feel like. I mean, you, you ain't been hibernating. You know, you had some shit going on, too, though. But that was part of your right, practice of being yourself. You know what I'm saying? Put away for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. yeah. I'm glad right, to see you um, out here. We're yes, really sir. glad to see you out here, man. I appreciate you guys. There's next shit too, you yes. know what I'm saying? Come I got I gotta keep I gotta keep my hug, uh, cut on the regular now, man. Shout out to YGKC. Yeah, you still need to you still need to see his stuff too. Coming in the middle. Oh yeah. Get that camera off, man. I gotta take a picture. Oh damn. Let's do it. Hey, quick you are talk with Neander Talk. It was a great podcast. Had your boy in the building. You know, we got the award winner himself. How'd you feel about today's episode? Fucking wild shit. I need my tinfoil hat for this one. <laughs> Put this on. We got fucking deep. Like, sometimes it takes a while for the podcast to get warmed up. You might want to fast forward the first 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, but then we start getting fucking heavy. But the first 20, 30 minutes are funny and good. Catching up, but basically. The, the it's like, it's like a catch up. Yeah. Catching up at the end of that fucking mug. Shit got we real. We getting canceled. <laughs> well, sure. hope it's on this vlog then because it's all gonna be on there and make sure you check it out on everything, you know what I'm saying? Spotify, Apple Music, Neander Talk Podcast, and hope you all enjoyed this episode. YouTube bitches. And don't forget that YouTube, YouTube. bitches. YouTube. Straight up. YouTube. Get that camera off of me. Even get that camera off of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any raw mixture? Yeah, I think um the biggest part uh, being in the house for two years um, is you really start to figure out who you are and the more you're alone I realize I figure out who I am and bad habits that I have and good habits that I have so I've been trying to just eliminate the bad habits and keep re keep making positive habits and it's I mean that could go anything from not just like drugs and stuff. That's everyday life. Like there's shit you know you probably you so you set goals for yourself and stuff and you don't meet them or you have you you do shit you know you're not supposed to do. So um, welcome to my world. Yeah, Man. I do shit I know I'm not supposed to do all the time. That's how I live my life, Nick. <laughs> you and I are very different. I live my life doing the things I know I'm not supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean there's nothing wrong with it. Though. <laughs> Uh, it just and also being an adult, like fuck that's being yeah, overrated. Yeah, everything is fuck being an adult. Overrated. Do, 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 do. <laughs> being an adult is not not fun, but I mean, I'm shit's for the birds. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't control it. I mean, I can't get younger. I can only get older. So I guess I yeah, just man, 
you'd be surprised what really like putting yourself away for two years like you're it almost like I was in solitary confinement like I would be in the house for three four days at a time like I wouldn't go outside all due to anxiety that and also just um, perfecting your craft yeah being yeah that was always something that boggles my boggles my mind about you is just how you can get so locked in and focused yeah and like just shut the world out and just hone on your craft like I don't like that's always impressed me and, and thrown me for a loop well I, the, I think the easiest way I put it for myself was um, nobody else can do this shit for me nobody else can give me the, a golden brick path <clears throat> to get where I want to go and I know when it comes down to what I need I know somebody else can't do that for me I know I have to go do it for myself so um, self-discipline if you don't have self-discipline I mean you're fucked honestly I mean right because if you can't Tell yourself you you want to get up and get something done. I mean, you're never gonna get shit done. There's so I I don't know. I just was always good about being was working because I never was wanted to go out and party and do it. That's just lame. Um, there's no fun in that. I mean, it's more. This for guy's me, just hating on me the whole time. No no no. For me personally, yeah, there yeah. was just no fun in that. Um, and having anxiety and shit, it just made me feel like it was more. Cons than it was pros, so I was just that's smart, yeah. So I feel good, man. It, who's ran a club, a major clothing brand, or anything marketing, and you tell them you've only spent 500 on ads, they're gonna look at you like you're crazy. So it's strictly just been off image and character. That's just been that's selling myself, so no promo. And it's there, I'm I, I'm happy with that, but. Um, a lot of that's just your hard work and hustle yeah, it and your is. networking skills too, yeah? For sure. And I don't even, I haven't done any collabs. I haven't had any any major cosigns. Like, I mean, besides rappers and stuff wearing their clothes, I mean, I mean, that only gets you so far, you know? Like, yeah, you, you, need to to, to, you need to get some podcasters for your <laughs> yeah, rotation. You have to be able to push yourself. So the community and the fan base, just being yourself was the biggest thing that I wanted to stick to. Just unapologetically being myself, and um, you'll have supporters, women, whatever. I mean, it's endless. I mean, it's, it is. It's unlimited for sure. When it comes to um, women, I just yeah. What, what's your story? Like you, you're, you're staying at home for two years, nose to the grindstone. I imagine you're like, you, you probably are like just inside like I don't know who, who's that lady with the long hair Rapunzel <laughs> <laughs> look at your hair it's crazy no, it's not, long you know, as shit like just are you do you have a social life during those two years of being locked in is there any social life involved um Outside like with of, women or any, just in, all in, the, in general um like with the bat were you playing basketball the whole time at least yeah I was playing ball so I mean I guess besides going to the gym and then going home you go to the gym, it's straight dudes. I mean, there's no girls right. there, so right. you go to the gym, it's just your boys, it's just me and my guys. Um, and then I go to the crib, it's just me um, and people I live with. So um, I've never been socially awkward, but I guess I, I can say it. I'm very quiet. It takes me a second to really, like, as soon as I walk in here, I can feel the atmosphere. I can feel, like, what you can and can't eat, can and can't say, um, stuff like that. So I guess... Mm -hmm. I have good social skills for sure, um, but it takes me a second to just be want to really be myself. Right. Um, You're super introverted, huh? So yeah, hermit crab. So yeah. I guess mm -hmm. being that being put away didn't really affect my social life at all. Really, I mean, I don't really talk to many people anyway. So when it comes to especially girls, I mean, I it's whatever kind of girl you could think of. I've they're around. I mean, if I wanted one, but it's... They're just hitting you up on Instagram? Of course. Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. I mean, but it's not like... There's, what's the pursuit? There, I mean, you feel me? There, what's the... I need that in my life. I need... <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I need more women sliding in these DMs going, no, what's don't. up, baby? No, you It's the people who don't worship and don't believe in anything that are so open to this... To all of this. this it's a force field you live in. You'd be crazy to think we're just in a 2D. No, this is like, I'm on some 4D shit, bro. I'm above just believing in Buddha. And I believe in real energy that exists from people to people. And that there's a God 
and that all this shit is connected into one playing field. It's not separated. It's no. It's all in. It's one. Are evil talk, lives here. Are you, so you're saying heaven and hell exist? All all live at the same time in the same plane? No, I won't say that because heaven is heaven and hell are something only the soul can reach. So you have to die to go there. You can't just go visit. But you well, can go evil? visit evil here. You can go visit evil for sure. You can you can go visit good. So it, how do I visit good? Go walk in the in the how church. How can I visit good? Go you can you can go walk in the church and then go walk no. into the church of Satan. I feel like that's easier no. said than done on that one. Walk yeah. into I, hold on, I gotta fight against that man. Yeah, uh, I feel you, you on that. This is a example. lot of churches, and you're not walking into good. You're walking into a lot of you feel judgment. Yeah, you for feel, sure. Uh, judgment is a human. It depends. Thing. On I don't, where you I don't go. fight against them, but there's there are some. You want to talk about wolves and sheep clothing? For sure. There's a lot of churches out there that For are sure. disguised Facts. as fucking sheep. Facts. And I will agree with you on that, and I will say that that's that's just me saying, like, walk into the church of the devil and then walk into the church of God. I How mean, do you find the church of God? Yeah. Um, Recommendations? Uh, you gotta have, just really have to experiment, honestly. I mean, just to see where you feel so comfortable I, at. All right, that's fine. But do you mean just start going to random churches? I'm going to walk church into this church. There's a church on this. Yeah, corner. just go to the church. church yeah, more you know, there's, a, there's a black church. There's a Chinese church. There's a Mexican church. There's a white church. I'm just going to start popping it on until I find one that somehow You'll feel grabs it. at me. No, that's real. And how do it's I like... determine the, the, the difference between the feeling of that and a, and, and a devilish it's, church? It's, maybe, maybe it all. Light and dark. Light and dark don't balance. Light and dark but can't balance people, together. Uh, but there's so I, I many mean, hustlers okay. when it comes to the so church So when you walk into too. the church of Satan, where they worship the devil, you will feel a very dark energy. What if they're not telling you that? They are telling you that they're they're telling you they worship the God of Jesus and Yahweh or whatever. They're teaching the, the New Testament. <clears throat> and they're saying you need to get saved, you need to get baptized. But are those people who they say they are? Are, I mean, there is there Catholics guys, who they say, and then you got these Catholic churches where the priests are, are raping, weird, yeah, raping these little, sure. little boys for sure. On a, on a, and not only that, but then they're they're hiding, hiding, the, and then not getting prosecuted. They're just uh, for sure. There's bad apples everywhere for sure. And there's bad apples in everything, and there's bad apples that hide behind the way you, the way you make it sound is almost everything is a bad apple, and the good <laughs> apple is is very hard to find. And it if, is. And if this good God and this goodness is is so powerful and so great, you'll feel it. Why you'll feel it? But how will you feel it if you're always feeling the dark? How do I know what I'm feeling is the good? And, and how do I find it? Why is there so much of the dark one? Like it seems like the way you're saying it is the the good ones are so rare. It is in this in this time we live in. Why is it so rare? Because we live in a godless world. We live in a worship your own idol world. We live into a, we don't need God. We live in this. Hollywood and all this that's why it feels like there's so many rotten apples because you live in a world where everybody is Majority <clears throat> is cool to be godless. It's cool to disrespect people's ideologies and gods So I did make a joke earlier. No, 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 I'm not saying that I'm just <laughs> saying in general like no, I get if it. I took you to a to my buddy's house This is just all This is just make-believe if I took you to a buddy's house who worships Satan as soon as you step foot in that door You're going to feel a evil presence and it's going to hit you like a rock. Now, if I took you to my grandmother's house, I don't know about who that. doesn't worship the devil, who worships a god, you're going to feel a much different presence. It's obvious. Evil can't <clears throat> exist without evil can't exist without light. Light can't exist without evil. So, but they can't balance together. There's no mixture of both. So you can't. Uh, I mean, like I said, there's always there's bad apples in everything. There's always going to be somebody who's hiding behind. It's so a wild. It's so wild to me to believe in that shit. It is. I mean, I I'm not going to. It's gonna so see... fucking wild. It is. It's... Because I don't know why. Why? Why would you lean one way or another or believe that either one exists? Why are you going to believe that there is this this loving presence, good God, and then why are you going to believe that there's this evil presence of this bad God? Because that's what you guys are are, are arguing. And I just, I don't understand why there has to be a good and why there has to be a bad. Why can't it this just be like this randomness and scientific balance. approach? <clears throat> but there, there's this balance of the universe. I, I don't know, man. There'd be no balance if everybody was worshiping the devil and everybody was... was but, there is, but what if there is balance because where we live... 
Right now, all of that theory and that thought, <laughs> here's where it gets me. The theory of good and evil is all theorized and thought and on these books that certain scholars have read. And believe me, it goes the span of all different cultures. There's more than just this Jesus culture. You got Buddhism, you got the Quran, you got the all these uh, different religions all over in these theories. It's all on this giant blue rock that's spinning in an infinite universe with potential with these black holes in the center of every universe and inside of every black hole is a whole nother open expansion of whole other universes and galaxies and infinity. That, exactly. We've got infinity we don't know times what's out there. infinity. We don't know what's out there. So we just think that there's this weird God and devil on this tiny marble in space. Let me pause you because we don't know what's out there because you're also <clears throat> you're listening to the people at the top of the horns tell you what's out in your space. I don't, but that, you think that these, these horns, the, the tip of these horns are on this blue marble that's spinning in this dimension of space. What do you mean in this, are you talking about Earth when you say yeah, that? Yeah, 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 Earth, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, yeah, I'm in my head right now. I'm like, you know. <laughs> the devil and... But that's just Earth, we've got, you go, well, I'm going to blow your fucking mind, go 100 million to the, years. to the third power light years away and find the next inha the habitable and plant planet out there. Like you Avatar. Know what's out you don't there. know what the fuck's it's out there. It's probably habitable. And you don't think they're going to have their own little stories of good and evil. Yeah, you don't know who is now your owner at that point when he can put in whatever reverse. he wants into well, your uh, brain. A black man owning a white man. I, I roll That's definitely I reverse. I roll <laughs> How many movies have you seen where these fuckers are human... Or humanoid, they're half human, half android. Have, I like have, that. Have you ever thought of meshing a robot with human flesh? I mean, just what do you think Elon Musk is about to give you? He's about to give you a neural link, and something you can put in your brain that that fucker can do whatever he wants, and he does not have to tell you what he's putting into that because you're not going to understand it anyways. Nick, everything he said earlier sounded crazy until you think about it. Until you think. Until about you think it. about it. And break it down. Why and would... that's what podcasts are about, is it, hearing crazy shit, but having the time and the energy and the open-mindedness to listen and break that shit down, and it's not as fucking crazy. Listen. If you really think about it. Why? Like, you can get there. You smoke enough weed and have enough whiskey, you can get there. <laughs> <laughs> What's good to everybody? Appreciate everybody checking out the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And appreciate y'all sharing, too. Yeah, yeah.